Oh, it's my friend from Battle River Crowfoot. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. That's embarrassing deflection from the party that sent a gas turbine back to Russia that is funding Putin's war. Absolutely embarrassing for those Liberals. They have so much to answer for and how they have abandoned Ukraine where it counts. Now, Mr. Speaker, Darren is a turkey farmer that I spoke to today. Pays $30 thousand dollars in the last year in the carbon tax. By the time it's quadrupled, it will be almost 120 grand. Mr. Speaker, my question to those Liberals is simple. Do they expect him to raise costs or to cut back production so that f Canadians are forced to import food from polluting foreign jurisdictions? The Honourable Minister of Justice and Attorney General. Mr. Speaker, when it comes to food security, we always have to remember that the breadbasket of the world is a country called Ukraine. And I'm going to use the, ter I'm going to use the title of that country deliberately, because when you can't... Order. 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 Folks. Thank you. Um, I think there's a translation problem. They can't hear the Honourable Member for salaberry sur roi Mr. Speaker, I'll tell you, we've hit our limit. When interpreters tell you three times in a row that there's too much noise to interpret and that they're getting hurt, it's time to stop. This is our last day. Let's be adults. <laughs> Quick reminder, we're almost done. To keep the temperature down just a little bit so we can get through this. The interpretation is a challenge a lot of cases when there's lots of noise uh, in the chamber. The Honourable Minister of Justice and Attorney General, uh, 21 seconds. Mr. Speaker, I use the term Ukraine deliberately because when I hear somebody who aspires to lead this nation incapable of saying the term Ukraine and calling that nation that is fighting for its very existence a faraway foreign land, I find that not just disrespectful to our ally, I find that actually immoral. And we on this side of the House will stand by Ukraine. The Honourable Member for Battle River Crowfoot. Mr. Speaker, how embarrassing. This week they abandoned Israel at the United Nations, and that member should know that it is Canadian detonators that are ending up in the fields of Ukrainian farmers. They should be absolutely embarrassed and ashamed, ashamed of themselves for abandoning the farmers of Ukraine. And Mr. Speaker, when it comes to the cost that Canadian farmers are paying for the carbon tax, Mr. Speaker, here's the reality. For Darren, it's 120 grand that he has to recoup somehow. That he has to recoup. This is an uncomfortable question because high prices are a feature, not a flaw, of the carbon tax. Mr. Speaker, how does how do they expect Darren to pay the bills? The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Mr. Speaker, the member mentioned Ukraine. It was shameful to see Conservative MPs attempt not once but five times to silence the MP from Etobicoke Centre when they pointed out the Conservative voting record against supporting Ukraine. Former Conservative Cabinet Minister Peter Kent... Order, 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 order. Um, you know, we're just about 3 o'clock, and the more we attack one another, the louder it's going to get in here. So I would just suggest that everybody uh, bring it down a notch. Christmas is coming. The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. From the top. Mr. Speaker, former Conservative Cabinet Minister Peter Kemp put it in this way, and I quote, when partisan politics trumps principled unity and support for a valiant democracy, he was referring to the Conservative record voting against Ukraine and free trade. No amount of doublespeak or empty talking points will change that, Mr. Speaker.